I feel like only now Snowden's are becoming more relevant. Just to, or maybe just me getting older, realizing the world around me. There's something going on inside the government that's really wrong, and I can't ignore it. I just want to get this data to the world. Snowden is directed by Oliver Stone, and it stars Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Shailene Woodley. Also, Nick Cage. Nick Cage in this movie, isn't that interesting? So, Snowden is the biopic of Edward Snowden, the whistleblower for the NSA, back in, like, 2013 or whatever, where he revealed a bunch of classified documents that showed that the US was spying on their own citizens, and they were able to, like, get into basically anything. Ooh. Joseph Gordon-Levitt as Snowden, he looks the part and he did a great, like, job with the voice. It didn't sound jarring. I don't know what he's done the last few movies. I mean, he did The Walk with that French accent. He's done Snowden now with that, I don't know, he kind of sounds like he has a blocked nose. But he was actually really good in this movie. Something I was a little bit surprised by, but not by much, because I kind of assumed he was, I kind of assumed that he's going to give a good performance. His chemistry with Shailene Woodley, though, it's good, it's not mind-blowing or terrific or anything that I haven't seen in, like, chemistry before, but it, it's worth mentioning. Also, Shailene Woodley in this movie, she's pretty good. She shows more dramatic side, which is much better because I keep seeing her in the Divergent movies, and it's just like, you're not good in this, no one's good in this. They made Kate Winslet and Naomi Watts terrible in this. We need to stop making them. This biopic was a like really, really long, like two hours and a half, two and a half hours like long. But the problem with that is that Edward Snowden, he's just not that of an interesting guy. I mean, he leaked the classified documents being a whistleblower to the world because he thought himself as a patriot. That's really good. That that story is really good. But the personal plot lines, uh, they're just not that interesting. He's just not that much of an interesting person. Sounds really offensive, it is, but that's just the truth. And speaking of that runtime, take you could have taken 20 minutes easy off that top. 20 minutes gone, easy. You would have lost nothing to the narrative, just lost 20 minutes. Maybe compacted two scenes into one. Do that. Don't give me a two and a half movie about a non-interesting guy. And the, the way the script unfolds, it's not in a way where it's really easy to tap into and to understand what people are saying. It's stuff that you've got to be in the know to know what people are talking about. They don't understand, they, they don't explain the implications of some acts with, very well. They don't, like, they do it, they do explain it just to a point where it's, like, they're speaking words that you, it's just hard to understand. I could have learned more in an easier and more entertaining way by, by watching the 20 minute interview John Oliver did with Edward Snowden on his piece about government surveillance and that's just more interesting, you get more out of it and it's just explained a whole lot better. But one thing that that interview and Snowden the movie line up perfectly is the portrayal of surveillance of the government surveillance and that it's scary and it is. And that's just something that I liked that they both Managed to do mostly Snowden the movie. Anyway, Snowden, it's a, it's, it's fine to sit through. You can watch it, you can enjoy it, but there's just problems with it being sometimes too confusing, or Snowden just being a non-interesting guy. I mean, if had he had a lot more of an interesting life, it, I'm sure the story would have been a lot more interesting. Anyway, Snowden is one and done. Have you seen Snowden? What did you think of it? What performance do you like better out of Joseph Gordon-Levitt? Is it like the walk with his French accent, or He'd Snowden with a blocked nose. I mean, let me know in the comments down below. Like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you haven't on the planet. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, wow, you made it to the end of the video. Good job. How about you click that subscribe button for more content? Or click one of these two videos. You know, either one's good enough.